Hello guys, welcome to my August kit lineup. Before we get into it, just a couple things I wanna go over. First, I'm gonna be showing you the kits I'm gonna use in both my everyday planner. And I did get some questions about like, what's the difference? And literally my everyday planner is just the planner I use every day. If that makes sense, like at the end of the day, I'll go down, sit down in bed and fill up, put in all the stickers for what I did that day. And then my filming planner on Sundays, I go through and pull stickers to literally mimic that exact same week in my filming planner. It's so that I can still have planning for just myself for like de-stressing, but also I have about 6,382 kits. So then I get to use more and have fun talking to you guys. One, two, I have gotten requests a lot of times like a video on how I pick out my kits and my foil and it's just simply not video worthy. <laughs> so I will explain it to you briefly. Um, I look at the weeks and I say, is there anything special like a birthday, a trip, an event? There is an event and a birthday, both this month. So I pick, it's the first and the last week. I picked those first and then for the other weeks, I'm like, okay, I can use whatever. And then I see, do I have any kits that are seasonally specific? And I had two that I'm like, okay, I want to use those for sure. And then I pull out any older kits that I just feel like I want to use. Or I'm sick of looking at them and I want to use them. And I tend to use the kits that I'm more excited about in my personal planner. Because I look at it all week long. My filming planner, I look at while I film and then I never look at it again. Whereas I look at my everyday planner literally multiple times every single day. I hope that makes sense for how I pick up my kits. And as far as my foil, I do it probably the exact same way you do. I go to Etsy.com slash shop slash planner Hannah. I literally go to my Etsy page because I honestly can't exactly keep track. And like say I'm using a very like floral kit i'll type in flower in the search bar look at the underlays look at the headers look at the 15 millimeters decide which one i want to do then i look at the kit i look at my foils and i decide which color goes best that's really it i lean towards if i have the opportunity to use hollow i will use it if i have an opportunity to use rose gold i will use it i avoid silver like the plague it's my least favorite foil and that's basically it. That's all I got for you. I hope that helps if that's the info you wanted. That's all I got. That's all I got. So, like I said, we're going to start with my everyday planner. And I am going to be moving this week. This is the week that I start my move to Texas, which is very exciting. We're planning on literally leaving on August 1st and driving down. So, I have this kit from SPC, which is the December 2020 mystery, and this is what she looks like. It's a very, like, house kit, painting, and moving type energy, in my opinion. This is August 1st through the 7th, if I did not say that. She's so cute with her overalls. Love. But, yeah, I thought this would work. We're not buying a house. We are renting a house. But, it still felt quite fitting to me these are the colors of the kit which is very important for when you see what I pulled in <clears throat> this was also in my most recent um what's it called new release video I did show this combo we've got more girls here the bottom washi and then the glitter page I am going to be using the new olive color from my shop because again this is a very silver kit I avoid silver like the plague like I told you so I decided because there are like these flowers here and like naturey stuff, I'm gonna go with botanical too, which looks like kind of roses in olive. And that combo is just god tier to me. Then I didn't really want to use like a flower or a heart or a star or really anything, so I decided to go with a bow 15 millimeter. Bow four is my favorite bow in my shop, so that's the one I went with. And again in olive, and then I just wanted plain confetti headers. So we got confetti in olive. So that will be that week. And if you still have this kit in your collection, olive. I'm telling you, it's the move. You will thank me later. <laughs> I actually have got some freaking fire combos. This next one, I'm so excited. You guys have already seen this if you're following me on Instagram or if you're in my Facebook group. I was so excited about this combo that I already posted about it. Okay. I feel like that sometimes. Sometimes my combos are questionable and then sometimes they're god tier and this one just happened to be god tier. 
And this is the Atlantis kit from SPC, which will be August 8th through the 14th. I love mermaid kits. I know that a lot of people in the planning community are like, hey, more mermaids. No. Give me all the mermaids, okay? It's my favorite mythical creature, so I'm excited. Like, both of these girls are just so stunning. It literally hurts my feelings. So these are the colors. We got another mermaid here. And I was, like, having a hard time picking the foil. Like, there's so many good ones. So I'm like, use them all. You're a foil shop. You use them all. Why not? Why the hell not? And another box. They're really cute little crab. So I decided to do the mermaid towel underlays. And so we've got here the blue tie-dye, which you can't even, like, can't even get on camera how stunning it is. But I'm going to do blue tie-dye as well as pink tie-dye because then it brings in all the colors. But just when you think it can't get any better, for the washi strip, I'm going to do seashell in purple tie-dye. So we've got all the tie-dyes. We've got her colors, her colors, the blues, the whole nine yards. It's the best combo I've ever come up with as well as confetti headers and just hollow. That's the vibe. That's the only option for this kit. So again, if you have this kit, just do it. You won't be sorry. Next, we have the 15th through the 21st, which the week I just showed you as well as this week are my two weeks that like I didn't really have anything of importance going on. So I just picked a kit. We've got Sunset. This scene, stunning. Love her. This color is very interesting. I almost went with Lime as my foil, but then I decided against it. And the foil I did pick is actually not one of the main colors in the kit which is kind of why I picked it to make the color pop a bit more. Got a washi. And I love this colors of this sunset. So I decided to do palm tree underlays from my shop in coral. And I think that this matches with the sunset so good and it'll bring out those more warm tones. And I did decide to go with just gold as the main color. And this is another tip of like, what I have in my collection, I go through what I have already and shop for my own collection first and then figure out what I need to go get. And I'm just, I had both of these already made, confetti 15 millimeter and headers in gold. So I said, okay, that works. And that's how we did that. And then the last week for my filming cam plan with me is the 22nd through the 28th, which is Carly from Carly Plan's birthday. So, obviously, I have to honor her because she's one of my literal best friends in the whole wide universe. And this is one of her favorite shows in the whole wide universe. So, this is There For You, which is the Friends kit. Freaking dog statue. So funny. Probably won't use that tall box, but it's cute that it's there. Simply because there are, like, extra boxes I would prefer to use. Like, this one and these. Love them. And then I love that there's, like, little text on there. For the underlays, I'm bringing in the Friends underlays from my shop in light purple. Then I had this already made, both three and hollow, so I was like, that works. So I'm going to use hollow. Again, I avoid silver like the plague. Twinkle one headers in hollow. And then I printed and cut the Friends overlays, and then I accidentally foiled them in pixie hollow instead of regular hollow. And I said, fuck it, it's fine. Just use it, Hannah, don't be wasteful. So we have pixie hollow friends overlays so we're just doing a mod podge of things but that is that one can you guys tell that SBC is my favorite kit shop because literally every single one of those was scribble friends co things get a little bit more wild in my filming plan with me because i use kits like i said that i don't care as much about so the first week which is august 1st through the 7th as i mentioned is the week of moving so I went with this kit, which is the November 2021 mystery because there is a house in it. So that's what we're going with. And there's a cactus. That's kind of Texas energy. So this is the kit. And I've been dying to use this kit because the colors are so pretty. I actually hate orange and blue together because those were like my school colors literally from elementary through college. So not really a fan of those but like with the green it's everything more boxes and I've decided to mix this with copper so I'm going to be using leaves 2.0 in copper from my shop which brings out the oranges in mi opinion I'm going to use fine confetti 
15 millimeter as well as twinkle three headers all in copper make it easy so that is that combo now for the next two weeks the 8th through the 14th and the 15th through the 21st these are like where i decided to didn't have any more like summer kits I felt I had to get used up, so I decided to use just some older kits. The first one is from Scribble Prints Co. and it is Happy Mail. I figured it was good for like around moving. Just a bunch of boxes and packages. <clears throat> Super cute. This is like back when glitter headers were like this. It's shibby old school. Got a little yellow little thing sampler I probably won't use that because there's not enough to put it on every day and if I bring in an extra color I like to use it on every single day this is back when little things had that shit on it whatever so there's that for underlays I'm going to be using love letter from my shop in rose gold because there was no other option with this kit color and underlay had to be that I have some rose headers from SPC as well as bow one. I had this already made, so I said she will work. That is this kit. Next we have the 15th through the 21st. I find this kit to be like not cute at all, but like the underlays I printed and cut for it just made it cute. So I decided I would use it. And I'm just way too freaking lazy to sell shit. But it's this like art themed kit here. I don't know. It's this box for me. I find so scary looking that I'm just not a fan. But we've got these look like um flight attendants to me. Got these girls who are kind of cute. Glitter headers, labels, the stupid ass big box, the stupid ass checklists. Ah. Welcome to the museum. Art is just like not my favorite theme, but we're gonna use it, get her used off. I do have the foil that came with the kit, which is silver. So silver will get a time to shine. I have some SPC silver header overlays. And then I have the artsy underlays from my shop in pumpkin, which I think is just precious. I think that is so cute with this kit. Why? That will not be a thing anymore once I move. And so I just think that those underlays are so cute with this kit. And it made me excited to use the kit. Which that's another thing. I sometimes like to find a kit that I'm not excited about. And match it with a really fun underlay. Because it like brings life back to it. Then again we have Miss Carly's birthday week. I bought this kit specifically for this. And it is the Sailor Moon kit from Key Town. She loves Sailor Moon. I think Sailor Mars is her favorite. And I think it, this girl I think is the one that's her favorite. Carly, if you're watching this, you can let me know. But I think it's this bitch is her favorite. I tried watching Sailor Moon. Couldn't do it. Was not for me. Yeah, it's definitely this girl is her favorite. I bought this not realizing that the glitter headers were already in the kit. So I know Keaton just did a reformat, which is much needed. So that's exciting for the future of buying his kits. And then I decided Pixie Hollow was a must with this. We did Moon 2 headers, Moon Princess overlays, of course. Oh, we have some extra girls here as well. We've got the Stars and Moons underlays in Pixie Hollow. Just like such a vibe with this kit. And then the 15 millimeter, which matches that, is called Night. And it is again in Pixie Hollow. So that's the combo and it's just a vibe these dark colors with the hollows so pretty but that is it guys that is my kit lineup for august i'm filming this literally still in june because the next month of my life is going to be absolutely disgustingly busy i hope you liked it if you did give this video a thumbs up did i help you out with my description on how i pick out my kits well, let me know but uh, yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Give it a thumbs down if you did not. Because either way, you are helping out my channel. Comment down below. Subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.